to the Redline Productions proudly presents Today's To The Redline review was made possible in part by Hey YouTube, well today I want to show you guys a very very special Mustang. Uh, this is a 2007 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Now I had to do a little bit of research about this car and I found out that 07 is actually the first model year of this of the actual name Shelby GT500. I mean this car replaced the SVT Cobra that Ford had um, in the early, like I think 04 was the last year. But um, this is based off the newer Mustang generation which this one came out in 05. Uh, this particular one is a very special because the sh what sh the Shelby name is is a replacement for the SVT Cobra. I mean, this thing, what makes it special is the motor. It doesn't have, one thing I found out though is it doesn't have the independent rear suspension that the SVT Cobra had, but it does have much more power. This has a 5.4 liter supercharged V8 with 500 horsepower. This literally uh, makes this the um, most powerful car I've ever driven with 500 horsepower. Uh, this one's just the black exterior color. It's in really good shape. It only has about 40,000 miles, 45,000 miles on it. And these things still demand a premium. The 2013 Shelby GT500, especially after the passing of Carroll Shelby, are are going for 10 grand above sticker. Uh, that's how high in demand these are. Even the used car, the used ones. I mean, this thing is a menacing, mean looking Mustang and it's fast. I love that supercharger wine. It's rare rare car indeed and this one's a convertible so it's a uh, definitely a nice car to have during this time of the year uh, anyways these are the 18 inch polished aluminum wheels 18s in the front i believe they're bigger in the back no they're back they're 18s in the back 285 45s in the backs or 40s in the back so wider rubber i mean the stance that this thing gives you is really nice you got the spoiler on the back as well and you can see the gt500 badging and the cobra badge on the side as well Coming to the interior, this one does have the red leather inserts with a black interior with the red stitching. <laughs> and uh, it pretty much just comes with Ford's old key. This is their old key with the old remote system. Uh, you got that old uh, Shaker 500 audio system with the kind of, it's not that integrated design like the new Mustang. And back then, this is the only way you could get six speeds with your Mustang. This car did not come, or other Mustangs had a five speed automatic or five speed manual. You can see the SBT specific gauges, the GT500 badging. Wow! You can definitely hear uh, the noise that thing makes. That's just insane. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's uh, take a look at the interior really quick. Even though you don't buy this car for the interior, you buy it for the motor. Uh, but the interior materials, they, they did upgrade it from the regular Mustang. The, the interior quality of these Mustangs are not as good as the current one. Uh, but you do get an, a leather stitch dashboard to justify because these Shelby's when they were new were over 50 grand. Uh, hard touch plastic there, it's hard touch here. It's not really like the aluminum that's in the current Mustang. You get a glove box there, it's not damped or anything. The door panels are hard plastic there, but you have a nice uh, aluminum finish. Or it's probably just silver paint plastic on the door handle. Uh, it is padded right here and perforated leather. Uh, really nice steering wheel fat with the nice bolstering extensions. No steering wheel audio controls though, just your cruise control. You got contrasting stitching. Windows are fully automatic up and down for the driver and the front passenger side. Um, the one thing I'm definitely noticing about this car is it's got a very heavy clutch. You know, I've complained about other cars uh, having heavier clutches and this is probably the heaviest clutch I've ever driven. So, uh, but I mean, the clutch has a pretty easy engagement point. It's just very heavy. I wouldn't want to get stuck in rush hour traffic in this car. Center console in here uh, has your power port and an auxiliary, surprisingly. It does have an auxiliary. No sink or anything in this car though. This is before uh, sink actually came out. But let me show you guys how to put the top down. We'll turn the engine off. And uh, to put the top down, you have to take off the, lower the sun visors, put them down. And you have to unlatch this and unlatch that. And then it's a power top, so just push this button right here, just like the current Mustang. And it'll uh, essentially put the top down. But um, let's take a look at what it looks like exterior wise. I really like the contrasting red leather and uh, the black leather. It looks, it just gives the interior a much brighter look overall, but it looks really nice with the top down actually. 
I can't wait to see a 2013 shell because, because I mean, the, even the old one looks great. It looks fantastic. Now the back seat in this car, if you guys even care, you can see that's about where I'd have it to drive. Um, because I'm short, it actually gives you okay legroom, but if you have the seat all the way back, there it is. Uh, it's hard plastic right here, but I mean, you can fit four people in this car, supposedly, just shorter people. Anyways, let's show you guys an exhaust clip. Here's the beast of the motor, uh, Ford's 5.4 liter supercharged V8. This engine essentially comes out of the Ford GT, uh, their supercar that was out that Jeremy Clarkson really loved and bought. Uh, it makes 500 horsepower, it's slightly detuned from the GT and 480 foot pounds of torque. You can see the big old supercharger that's strapped, it's belt driven, I mean all superchargers are belt driven and this thing is just fast, it's a fast, fast car. All right, now onto the best part of this entire video. How does a, gel, a Shelby GT500 drive? This is the, remember, uh, this is the first generation, not necessarily, but it's the first model year of the nameplate Shelby GT500 in this uh, generation of Mustang. But anyways, enough of me talking. Let's uh, show you guys just how fast 500 horsepower is. Like I said, the clutch is really heavy. You do have a short throw six-speed manual, which actually has really nice uh, throws. I like the throws a lot. It's just that heavy clutch. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not ever going to complain that a Mustang, a regular Mustang, has a heavy clutch because this is really heavy. I did put the top up just to keep the noise levels down, but uh, as you can see, this car has a very long hood. And in terms of how it drives, which is the new Mustang, the new Mustang to me feels sportier. Feels even sportier than this. I mean, this car has a pretty stiff suspension already. But the newer one is definitely uh, much more refined than the than this generation Mustang. <laughs> and you can hear the supercharger whine of this thing. <laughs> uh, it's been a, it's been a while since I drove a car with the supercharger, so uh, you know I, I can't really tell, tell you which ones I prefer. Like I. Turbochargers, superchargers, they're all fantastic. I love those force induction engines. You can hear this thing just has torque everywhere. And if you put your foot down, that supercharger really comes to life. But even when you're not uh, flooring the pedal, it's not, it's surprisingly not that loud in here. Even with the top up, I'm going about 50 right now. Uh, there's not as much wind noise as I thought there would be. So I'm really impressed to see, to see that. Uh, handling. It's very nice. The steering is really precise. It's a hydraulic steering. Uh, the car just feels a little bit big, but I mean, it's a Mustang. It's not as big as some other cars, though. But I mean, this car's just fast and it's fun, and it's a really big, uh, badass muscle car. But anyways, if you guys are in the market for one of these used Shelby's, they're definitely still a hot car in the used car market, just as they are in the new car market. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Yeah, here's some legal stuff for you. The views and opinions expressed in the following video do not necessarily reflect those of the title holding automotive dealer or the entity represented. All videos are filmed with permission by a professional driver on a set course with the collaboration and assistance of local law enforcement authorities. Do not attempt. Logos and brandings of vehicle manufacturers, dealerships, and online social media sites are the sole property of their respective representation used with permission. The two, the red line logo, soundtrack, and web resources, as well as all of their associated media are copyrighted intellectual property of two, the red line LLC. All rights reserved.